did you notice a difference, you know, from going from the level that you was, or did you, it, it was something that just came to you naturally? No, nah, there's definitely a massive difference. Massive difference. Um, the, the quality of player was the biggest difference. I mean, I, I played with some good players at Valage. Um, a lot of them players that I, feel, I still believe should have gone pro at, at some sort of level. But I even noticed a difference from playing with these Premier League players, even mm. in training or reserve games, because I wasn't actually allowed to play in the Prem because uh, I signed I signed Charlton in March, so right. I wasn't I was I was um, eligible to play um, it was outside the transfer window. Okay. And that, 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 that infuriated me. I can't even lie. But I was playing. Course, yeah. I was allowed to play in reserve games and what and whatnot. And even playing in reserve games, you could see that like, the level was a joke. Like. Um, and then going down the championship, I could see the golf. So it's like, even at that level, so I've gone from Dulwich to, to the Prem to then come down to, whoa, this is a madness. And so it was definitely a shock. The fitness level was more than anything. And because I wasn't used to the routine and the schedule of how people, uh, the off season, especially, um, I mean, I'd say that from when I signed to playing the, res the reserve games I played, it was all, but all based on adrenaline because I was still banging goals, banging goals. All, I was just going through, this, going through the same motions that I had done um, at, at Dulwich. I had eventually tuned into the fact that I'm actually about to, be, I'm actually about to endeavour in a, in a career that, that could change my life. Um, so I was doing, doing, doing lifestyle, holiday life with my boys. And, um, and then pre-season came and it hit me. First, first training session hit me. <laughs> we, did, we, did, we, did some, we did something called envelope run and it was like basically doing an envelope shape around a whole pitch but we did it over and over and over and over and over again and it's hot and I remember at the end of the run my legs have gone everything and I was literally a regurgitated like I was going to be sick and Marcus Bent came and pulled me to one side and said do not Whatever you do, do not be sick. Do not. Don't do it. Because that will finish you. will finish you because everyone could see that I, clearly I wasn't used to it. And, I, and, and evidently, I hadn't done anything over the summer. So, um, definitely the change. Like I said, the quality in player. I, I had players, players around me that I, I was playing with, even in the reserves, were a joke. Alex Song, um, Harry, Harry Yata, Josh Reford, Hasselbank, Kevin Lisby. Miles Weston. Right. I think that they, they just, it's a joke, isn't it? It was just like, what? <laughs> and players that obviously, that, especially like with Jimmy, I, 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 I literally watched him for Atletico Madrid, Chelsea, Leeds. And I'm like, now nah, I'm lining up in the reserve team with him. Obviously, he's coming to the back end of his career, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But still, in training, I'm looking at my man and thinking, this is a joke. Like, <laughs> what was it like learning of been, like, What was it like learning from him? My, like everyone asked me who's the best striker I learned off. Well, not necessarily played with, but learned from Jimmy Fred Hasselbank. Like he initially, when I first walked into the building, I had to earn his respect. He weren't giving that for free. No way. He's like, this is young. <laughs> no way. You have to earn it. You have to earn his respect. There was players that, my, that were around my age because remember I, I came at twenty two. So mm. I would, there was players that were around my age that have been doing this for three, four years anyway. Then and and they and they were relatively established players. Jerome Thomas, Lloyd Sam, they were established at some sort of, ped they had a pedigree about them. And then there were players that were older than me, that John Fortune, that had been around for a while, Matt Holland, um, Darren Ambrose. So it was like, no, nah, Darren Ambrose was about my age, actually, but no, more, more, so, more so like um, Jimmy, like Jimmy, and mm -hmm. Marcus Ben, and I had to earn the respect. I had to earn it. Because they were like, the young guys come walking, walking around. And I'm a boisterous character as it is, so I'm saying. So they're looking at you, who's this guy bouncing around the place like he runs the place? And I'm, <laughs> I'm like, that's the character. But if I don't act that way, if I, go in, if I come in timid, you're going to crush me. Mm. And I'm going to let the, the, let the environment and the building consume me. So I was like, no, I'm going to be me. I'm going to come in there. And, but I'm going to show my respect. Because as far as I'm concerned, I've been raised in a, in a household where we respect our elders anyway. I'm, I'm from that generation. So naturally, when I saw Jimmy, I paid homage to him saying because for me, you've you've paved the way. You paved the way to allow me to do to do what I want to do. So of course, I pay homage and come and you, know, you got to respect what he's done in the game. He was he was an unbelievable striker. Yeah, he was.
But yeah, I learned I learned a lot from him. I learned a lot from him. I learned I learned in regards to just the ruthlessness of, of finishing. Like, don't take for granted every any opportunity. Don't don't take for granted the opportunities that are presented to you because they don't come around often. And you and people remember numbers. No matter what happens in this game, people remember numbers. People remember how many goals you scored. People remember how, how many games you played. That's that's the numbers they remember. And but and he was he was he was ruthless, bro. In front of goal, I don't think any goalkeeper wanted to do shooting practice with him because he was just <laughs> <laughs> the guy struck the ball like I've never seen. Like he's the hardest hitter of a ball I've ever seen in my life. And you know that you know in the goal where they got little triangles, they have got a stanchion up the top and then they got a stanchion down the bottom. The truck, mm-hmm. the truck, yeah. He hit that every time, bro. No play <laughs> game. Not over, I, I'm not even over exaggerating when I say if it was ten shots. Eight or nine of them are going into that corner. That's there. Uh, Isn't it? And it's power. power no backlift. <laughs> Jimmy, no playing. <laughs> no play again. And that was him at the back end of his career. It makes me wonder what he, like, seeing him, obviously I've seen him on TV, we all seen him on TV, but seeing him firsthand when he was at a peak, hey, my, oh my gosh, yeah, unstoppable. I, I think he was, he was incredible. Oh, man. Going. Who's gonna ask? I've got, got a couple questions I want to ask. Some quick yeah. questions. All right. So, is there any player that you've played against that you feel like could have played at the top level? So, looking Premier League or even Championship. I've never had this question. It's a tough one, but that could have played at the top level. That you feel like this person was the ability was mad. That I've played against. Well, you've played or, with, with, you've played with, or you've seen with or against. Is, anyone that I've played against or with, they they've had a little, they've had they've had a little, they've had a little moment in the prem. But whether that, so if, if for me, it's a case of could they have consistently done it, and should they have consistently done it for whatever reason it didn't work out, then um, Zavon Hines, Zavon Hines, um, when he was, mm. he was at West Ham, obviously broke through at West Ham. Yeah. I saw Zavon, I saw Zavon do things that me and Zavon played together at Dagenham, and I saw Zavon do things at Dagenham that I was like, "Why are you here? <laughs> Why are you here? What are you, doing? what are you doing here? Because his ability was a joke. Like his ability, technical ability. I mean, I remember Zavon and Junior Stanislas who came through at the same kind of time at West Ham, and I, and I, I've known Junior since he was a kid because he was from the same area. So, um, and I just thought. Obviously, I don't know this person, but I just obviously heard that obviously the attitudes were just different. That was it. And Zab's attitude was taken a certain way and, and Junior's was a bit, was conducting a certain way that they, that they as the higher powers, would, would approve of. And that's the difference. Um, but ability-wise, nah. Like, what are you doing here? He was at Dagenham, mm. I'm seeing, look, training sessions, I'm seeing him do things to hurt players and I'm saying, that man are going to end up in 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 emergency in A and E fam because <laughs> they're mocking them. and it's not and it's not even for for like twisting up their legs or not and it's a heart failure fam because he's doing a madness <laughs> he's doing a madness and even yeah. in game and then it's not even like you're doing just training in games I'm seeing he's telling me Dicko he's going to get the flip flat today and I'm like nah you're joking so <laughs> flip flat through brother's legs through brother's legs in the game I'm like what are you doing here. It was too good. It was def- definitely for me off the top of my head. I think Zavon Zavon Hines um, should have definitely played. Should have played more games in the Prem. Cool. Go on, Lola. Is there anything you wanted to ask, Chris? Um. Well, I think one other thing about his come up in comparison to like the new guys now. Like, what would you say is the big difference, or, if, or is there one? Um. There's more money in the game now, Lola. <laughs> 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 Like, I'd love to be, I'd like to read my time, and listen, I'll tell you now, listen, that move to the Prem would have had a couple more zeros. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but, um, I mean, I think what I did at the time um, was not, it wasn't, it wasn't unheard of, it just wasn't a, a regular occurrence. Mm. And because of my age, um, I think now there's, there, there's coaches and there's, players who are turned into coaches who know where to look, how to look, and, and, and obviously 
like to, to look after these players from early for for, for their and um, for their mental state as well as their physical state. So I think it's they're they're more protected now. And they have to be because of social media. Mm. Um, I wasn't exposed to much, much, many of that much of that at all. So it was, it, I just I just wanted to have fun. Um, so I think. As much as players say, oh, I don't know how to get into it. I literally didn't know how to get into ball. Like, people, I had a helping hand at Eric from over there. My manager was really good at Dulwich. Um, and then, literally, and it, and it perpetuated that way. But I think there's so many avenues now and so many coaches or players who are coaches or, or players, even players that are doing what I'm doing, they're trying to get one-on-ones who know people that you can't say there's not an avenue. It's just now down to you putting in the grass and putting the work and showing how good you actually are for us to then say, you know what, yo, I've got this player. Do you know what? I think you need to have a look at him. So I'm saying, and they'll do that. Uh, they'll do that. I was co- I was coaching one a 16 year old boy re- recently. He got released from Tottenham. I said he's unbelievable. You need to have a look at. It. I, I called up Jason Newell and I said, yo, Newley, I beg you need to look at this kid. Yeah, he's, he looked him up. He said Dick. He said he's a really good player, but at the moment we can't do anything because of a scholarship and his age. I think it was just he was sixteen, so there was there was some scholarship issues and whatnot. But we've got the ability to do that now because we have working relationships or um, relationships through being colleagues that we can now pick up the phone and say, "There's no one too big to pick up the, to, to not pick up the phone to you." So I'm saying I can pick up the phone to anybody and say, "Look." Like, bro, can you help? Can you, I've got this player. Go and have a look at him. And there's avenues for that. But if I don't see that you've got that hunger, and that drive in sessions with me or in games that you're playing, and 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 then I'm then you're ultimately making my reference look bad. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So there's a balance to it. You might see it. They might see it as oh, they come said he could do it, but he can't do that. No, no, that's no, not that. It's a case of I don't see your, your application. I don't see what I don't see that you actually really want this. I'm saying you just want me to just lay it on a plate for you and then say, oh yeah, and then and then go in there and then, and then that guy who hasn't got a relationship with you like that will tell you how it, tell you how it is. I'm giving you the harsh truth now and saying you need to apply yourself now because when they say it, that's it, cut off, it's finished. When I say it, it's not cut off because it's it's a case of you've, I'm not I'm not I'm not the judge and the juror. That's what I'm saying I'm not I'm not the coach of the, of the team. I'm not the, I'm not the coach the trainer of that, of that team. I'm just helping you along your way. I'm your stepping stone to get you there, but when but if you don't do it here, you're not going to do it there, and they'll and, they'll, and you'll get found out. Mm. So I just feel like yeah, definitely on the come up. There's 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 much more avenues for kids these days. It's just whether they apply themselves and they don't get distracted and, or disheartened from from what's ahead. Totally agree. Totally agree. Um, one thing I was just going to say, just to piggyback off what um, you were discussing just there with Lola as well, was. Um, what do you think is the main difference between a football agent and yourself who sounds more like the mentor or the leeway into the game? What do you think is a consistent difference? Because I had this conversation yesterday, funnily enough, um, with Lisby as well. So yeah. it was, it's, it's quite funny that you said that as well, like as in to say your avenue of what you've been doing as well in terms of what he's been doing as well and how agents yeah. are as well in the game. So what do you think is the a decisive difference, or if there is even a difference? Um, it, it, it all comes down to people and how people are. And uh, listen, agents, it's their, that's their job. Just mm. that, it's their, their job to go, and, to go and get a deal for you, to put money in their pocket, put money in your pocket, secure, secure you uh, a, 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 a good, good enough wage, and then you've got to push on, and then they can find you another deal somewhere else. That's their job. Whereas... I think with um, myself, it, I'm more of a, I think it's more intimate. It's, 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 it's more personal. Yeah. Uh, and end of the day, like, I've got this 10-year-old where who's going to be a superstar. He's at Chelsea now. He's going to be a superstar. But I'm never, I'm never going to come to him and say, oh, yo, you need to cut me a little slice of that something, 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 something. <laughs> so you're, you're back to that. I'll never do that. I would, yeah. I would expect him to come to me and say, uh, like, Chris, thank you for all your work. I, I, I wouldn't have done it. With, I wouldn't have done, got this far without. I wouldn't expect that. My joy and satisfaction from it, and this is genuine, is go and live your dream. Go and live your dream. Yes, we've all got, bills, got, yes, we've all got bills to pay. Yes, we've all got a, a life, life, life to lead. But if he ever came to me and said, listen, Chris, I'm on like 200 grand a week. So I'm saying like, here's something. To, then so be it. 
cool, but for me, it's not me, for me to go, go searching for that. Whereas agents, on the other hand, that's their job. That's their job. It's their job to do that. So therefore, they're going to do that. They're going to, they're, they're going to expect as such repayment for what they've got for their jobs. So I'm saying, you go and do a job, you expect to be paid for it. And that's it. I'm, when I do one-to-one sessions, I expect to be paid for it because that's, what I'm, that's my job. But my, ref- my reference and then you going on to somewhere else is, is just a bonus. And, and it's not, I don't, I don't expect any, any repayment. For this. I'm saying, if I send you to Chelsea and Chelsea say, yeah, we want you, I'm not expecting you to come back and say, oh my God, thank you for doing this. A lot of people said I should go into that line of work because, I'm, because of how connected I am. But it's not, I, I'm not, I, I, my joy comes, my joy don't come from that. My joy actually comes from actually working with somebody, letting, watching them have fun, enjoying playing the game that they love, and then going and fulfilling, fulfilling their dream and becoming in that I foresaw, I could, I foresaw, foresaw their parents foresaw, but they, they're fulfilling it. They're fulfilling it. That's, and, then, and, and then they can, and then in 30 years time or whatever, they can go and say, this is what, this is what I did, this is how I did it, now let me help you. And it's just a knock on effect, knock on effect, knock on effect, knock on effect. Definitely. Definitely. Perfect answer. I mean, I mean a Lambo won't hurt if he's on three hundred. <laughs> 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 but, 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 we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, innit? Nah, nah, nah. It's just a case of him, him, him going to fulfill his dream. And I, and I know, I know, especially as one particular kid, he 100% will. He 100% mm. will because is in him. I can see it. Uh, and I, I saw it before his parents saw it. And, and I know that him, definitely. Yeah, I'm just trying to collect my son so he can do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, all this guy knows is PlayStation, PlayStation. I said, my friend, PlayStation, one KSI, my friend. There's no more. <laughs> I, tell, I, tell, I tell my son daily, daily, who won the 100 meters? Who same ball? Who came second? Nobody knows, my oh, friend. Who was second place? Push yourself to be the best you can be, and and and, and that's what and that's the same kind of energy I point, I want to portray to all all my, all, all my little um, young players that play as well, and anybody yeah. on the come game. Push to be the best. You might not even be the end up being the best, but push to be the best. Mm-hmm. Nobody yeah. can, not everyone can be Messi, not everyone can be Ronaldo. So I'm saying, but push to be there, and then yeah. and be the best you can be, because you're only going up against yourself. Yeah.